Welcome everyone to a new segment on my channel called A Life in Film, Cinema Spotlight, or just Cinema Spotlight for short. This is where I take an actor or a director and follow their career path down the line until their recent film. So I find the first film they acted in, review it, and move on to the next one. Movies only. Nothing much more to it than that. With that said, we're diving into Steven Spielberg's career and we're going to talk about The Sugarland Express, his third film and his first theatrical debut. Dear Lord, that's a lot of technicality. Short film, first film, second film, TV film, third film, first directorial debut. My head hurts. <laughs> This movie tells the story of a husband, played by William Atherton, and his wife, played by Goldie Hawn, heading across the state of Texas trying to outrun the law. Along the way, they hit all sorts of problems, and one being a large blockade of cop cars following them, only because the husband and wife took over the officer who was pursuing them and take him as a hostage as they go down this long, perilous road. The reason why I chose Steven Spielberg first in my set of reviews is because I'm a big fan of his work. I enjoy how he directs a film. I, I love how he presents his movies. They're always fast-paced to me, always having something going on, and he always ends up telling a fascinating story. With Sugarland Express, I hate to say it, I just didn't find any enjoyment here. All I really can say here is thinking about this film after a few days of watching it, I really didn't know what to say. I just, I just didn't enjoy this film. It didn't speak to me, Albeit it's a movie you can't completely forget. I found the characters stubborn as hell. The situation surrounding them baffling. And I just couldn't understand why this got started in the first place. To watch how things and events unfold, you can see retrospectively how things could have been prevented. That is exactly what I thought and felt when the true conflict kicked things into high gear. Goldie Hawn's character, along with her husband, hitch a ride. When the older couple they hitch the ride with get pulled over by the cop, this freaks out the couple and they run off. The officer follows. Once that changes, the, the couple takes over for the cop car, taking the officer hostage. It, ah, sure, Goldie Hawn's character may have been thinking on her feet and was scared, but to share the little to no ounce of regret she has in this, oh, it really just puts a bad limelight on her and the character she involves. Regardless, I found this film to be noisy in events when information is passed down between characters. Everyone is talking, either over each other or directly after the first person is done talking. And I also didn't like the fact that this film is just shy of two hours. About an hour in, I wanted this movie to be over. Not a lot of characters have legitimate arcs that make you feel fulfilled in the story. From the cops to the husband and wife, I just feel like nothing was really gained out of this two-hour film. For that, I disliked Sugarland Express and wouldn't want to own it on any platform. And now, I will have to say, just because I dislike it doesn't mean that I wouldn't love to hear from you if you actually did like it. So if there's anyone out there who enjoyed this film, I'd love to know your perspective. If anyone out there that disliked this film, I would love to know what you think. Either way, it's a conversation that I'm looking for. So, have you seen Sugarland Express or The Sugarland Express? If so, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this, please like and share this. Spread the word. That would be fantastic. And please subscribe. And if you're feeling maybe a tad bit generous, hit that notification bell. With all that said, I hope you all have a fantastic and wonderful day. Until next time.